Okay, here we are at the 20%. This one back here is the 25%. And here's uh, everything reduced down to 20%. As you can see it's, well, actually should hold it this way to compare apples to apples. It's, it's smaller, but I'm thinking this is as small as I can go and still fit um, a TT motor in there. They haven't arrived yet, so there's no point uh, opening this thing up. Right now it's held together some screws. These two holes are going to be for screwing the uh, TT gear motor in. As you can see the uh, tracks move freely. There isn't going to be a problem with that. And the little teeny tracks, well, compared to the uh, original great big tracks. That's your full size Johnny 5 and here's your 20%. How can I hold that so the camera can see everything? There we go. So in this case, on the 20% one, they fit together just like that. And then in that little teeny hole there, I found a paper clip. So I'm taking paper clips and uh, cutting them to the length of this and inserting them. And right now they feel tight enough that I, I don't think I need to do anything like glue them. But if I do, what I'll put is a little dab of glue on the end of the paper clip just before I shove that last little piece in there. And then that should hold it so it can't come out. And uh, of course had to make the little, the little tr grippers, the little traction pieces, which fit right about there. And again, they're in uh, they're in TPU, which is a flexible filament. And because it's a different material than the PLA that I'm printing this in, again, I'm putting these on with super glue. Um, to print these parts, since they're smaller, all I had to do was uh, go into the slicer program. Actually, you can see where I printed the side pieces on there. The slicer program and tell it to fill the bed. So when I put this in, I eh, fill the bed. Then I took a few off. I put, I had it so it would print like 50, 52 of them, because I believe it takes uh, either 47 or 48 to uh, make one track. And uh, then of course I did the same thing with the little traction piece that I did, except told the slicer that it's TPU, so it would adjust its settings for that. The uh, Bamboo Labs A1 Mini did a fantastic job printing these in TPU. Of the 20 or so printers I've owned since I started printing back in 2015, none of them would print TPU without stringing. And, and the roll that I happen to be using, this black TPU, it's at least it's at least six years old. So you know it's got moisture content in it. But uh, printed them all without stringing. So the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini has beaten every other printer and I've had some expensive printers to uh, in the quality in the TPU and just as a side note for those that are interested in the printing I'm just gonna swing this around here there's the A1 Mini but over here you can see this is my uh, my heated uh, dry box which I used to use with the Prusa and I decided well what the heck let's just connect it up so you can see it's just a tube let's connect it up to the A1 Mini and stick the filament and the TPU in there and all that kind of stuff and just pre-dry it and let it feed from there rather than even fooling with that back uh, single holder. Works great. Even if I don't turn that on, it's still a, a really good way to supply the filament to the machine. So I'm glad I've got that old Jayco that I modified. I did some videos on that if you're interested in the dryer, how I added uh, a vent on top and one on the very back and the bottom that I can open or close to allow airflow to get the moisture out of the filament and blah blah blah. So back to the project. So again I'm, I'm still waiting on the motors because it's Christmas time or just after. It's after Christmas. Mail's still kind of a little on the slow side. Hopefully the motors will come pretty soon and we'll get to see this thing run or if it does run and if it does run at what speed it runs and what else? Oh, so what I've got to design next is the decorative side panels that go on here. If this was the outside, that's one side panel. And if this is the inside, then it'll, it's a different thing altogether. And then there's the piece that goes across 
the top back here in the actual movie prop that piece across the top actually provide them a place to put some of their uh, motor drive electronics and receivers and stuff like that and they actually had the motor stacked in here and some battery packs stacked down there but in my case I've provided holes so that this same design can be used either as the left or a right and the hole is going to provide a place for um, the wiring the two wires from the TT motor that I'm hoping to use to come out and enter whatever type of body I want to hook onto this thing. I'm just thinking it's a nice little tread package and I might want to put all kinds of different bodies that don't belong on there, something completely non Johnny 5 able if you will. I'm trying to think of some clever way of saying Johnny 5 as Johnny 1 5th since it's 1 5th scale. Um, what else? I did notice on Thingiverse there are some files for complete Johnny Fives. In fact, a full-size one that you could chop down. I didn't notice that before I started all this, which is which is fine because I like using the uh, files from the Rex company themselves, so I know that this stuff is right on the money, and I just made this up visually to kind of look the way I wanted it to look, because you could make the tread section look any way you want. All right. I think that's about it for this video. I can say in the next one we'll either be talking about the side panels or the motors, or the motors and the side panels, depending if the motors arrive.